Mastery Podcast. This is Scott Tuzna along with Brian Cron. Today we're going to be talking about kind of program design and including <laughs> flexibility in your uh, in your training plan. There's, I mean, for most of us, I think a lot of time we're either uh, whether it's a, a free program that we're following from I don't know bodybuilding.com or something, or you invest in someone else's program like the Aesthetic Muscle Plan. Uh, mm-hmm. There's a, a structure in there that's kind of designed to suit the general population with that focus. Like for, for the aesthetic muscle plan, it's geared towards physique training. And most of the time you're in there somewhere between five and six days a week because we fucking love the gym. So mm-hmm. gearing a program towards that audience, um, it's one thing. They're all, they're all set in structure. And it's really important to, to have that set structure in place. You want to have some sort of program that you can follow, that you can progress on and, and stick with. Um, but there's times uh, where, where I'm really noticing, especially in our, our group coaching community, uh, I think this is where it's become more obvious to me. It's something that I really didn't um, pay much attention to or wasn't really aware of it uh, going on until uh, we started a group coaching with Physique Mastery Movement there, where we had set plans in place that were five days a week. And some people panicking that, oh my God, I'm only going to be able to get in four workouts this week. I, I'm, I'm completely behind. I'm completely, I, I screwed everything up. And yeah. um, really kind of bringing that awareness that, I mean, it, having a five-day plan doesn't necessarily mean, sure, like most weeks try to get those five workouts in there, but you don't necessarily have to follow a calendar week. You don't have to necessarily get those five workouts in every seven days. It could be every eight days if it has to be, depending on how life situations <laughs> happen. But it's really interesting to see some people panic mm-hmm. for missing yeah. One day and really thinking they're behind. I'm like, so the program took you 29 days instead of 28 days to complete. That's not, it, 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 it's basically. You lost not, all your gains. Yeah. Lost all your gains in one day. So today we're going to be talking a, a bit about flexibility. And uh, to begin with, try to follow a plan to suit your lifestyle uh, to begin with. So whether you're, you're looking for a free program online or someone else's structured program, uh, like the aesthetic muscle plan, uh, <laughs> kind of follow. Make sure like the programs. That's why I always mention like right off the bat that I mean, my plans are typically five to six days a week because I love being in the gym. Most of the people mm-hmm. I track my programming love to be in the gym, um, and that's just how we feel. It, it keeps us in our in our groove. So if you're someone who likes three or four days a week, it may not be the best fit for you. Uh, mm-hmm. So you should be looking for plans that, that kind of suit your lifestyle. Uh, suit your needs to begin with. Mm-hmm. I've been rambling for too long. What are your insights <laughs> so far? No, definitely, man. Um, and again, I'm always talking about mistakes I've made in my own uh, long and winding journey. But yeah, like that's something. Yeah, I would build my. Yeah, I would get workout plans for say yeah five or six days a week, or I'd create them myself. And I wouldn't respect that. The other things I had going on in my life that would, you know, like be at school or work or, or travel. Um, and I would, you know, either I would either like bend over backwards to fit workouts into like, you know, 10 o'clock at night or, or, or whatever. Um, or, you know, invariably I'd miss one and then I'd kind of like, oh, man, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm behind now. I'm screwing it up. And then I realized that it's just it's such an you know, it's such a long road that we're on. And, and you know, one little blip here and there makes very little difference Mm -hmm. um but the key is like just going in just to have a really kind of underestimate the amount of time you have so you know if you're looking at a plan and it's it's it calls for five days a week and it's very clear it's five days a week um and you think you might be able to squeeze that in then i don't i say don't do it do something else let's say three or four days a week crush that like kind of own that make that a part of your you know, of your lifestyle and then maybe see, can I, you know, can I step up my frequency a bit? Do I have time? You know, um, you know, as, as always kind of start under and, and progress. So, right. So have like a minimal dose type yeah. plan. If you've got guaranteed four days a week, no interruptions, it's going to happen. Yeah. You set a plan in place that, that allows yeah. you to, to maximize and get the most out of that four days. And if you happen to have a clear schedule this week, life situations are, yeah. are pretty low key, low stress, and you're like, 
fuck, I'm feeling awesome. I can hammer it another day. Have a complimentary workout in there. Maybe even two. It's a yeah. little lower in volume, maybe higher in volume, depending on yeah. how your program structure is in place or um, depending on what body part that you're hitting. You want to mm-hmm. make sure it's not going to interfere with the other four workouts that you're doing. But have one or two other complimentary workouts that you can insert during those times that you really have it and you have a clear mm-hmm. schedule and you're stress-free and can really push it. So, uh, yeah, having that minimal dose and maximal dose type of uh, – program in place is uh, that's something again I mean mistakes I've made in the past as well and just, just <laughs> learning just learning to be yeah. more adaptive with programming a lot of it has come from doing this uh, the group coaching along with you there just trying mm-hmm. to suit a lot of different people's um, mm-hmm. needs at once and really realizing that uh, yeah there's general plans that can suit a larger mass of people but having that flexibility built into them um, is really important oh definitely and I, sh- I should you know, I, again, I always got to qualify, like, you know, certain programs are rigid for a reason. Mm-hmm. Like, especially, you know, when you're doing like kind of higher end strength training, if you miss a workout, you can, you can screw up the entire program, right. you know, because these things are based on, you know, especially when you're dealing with percentages and, and, and hitting things on certain days at a certain percentage and blah, blah, blah. Um, uh, yeah, like then it's a lot more important. But with hypertrophy, it's, there's so much more flexibility, as long as you're getting in the volume and you're getting progression over the course of, you know, the, the training cycle, it will work, you know? So it's just, I think the stress alone that some people put on themselves, uh, kind of like negates a lot of the benefits of the program. So if you kind of go in like low stress, if you happen to miss one or two workouts a month, it's not a big deal. Um, it just makes the whole process so much more enjoyable. It's, it's so much more something that adds to your life. It's not another, commitment that you have to do it's something that you want to do and you can do right so. yeah and you should never be beating yeah. yourself up for missing yeah. a workout or whatever it's yeah it's all yeah. again it's just a it's a blip in the in the big picture yeah. it's it basically is 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 nothing mm-hmm. missing a workout or two here yeah. and there it's you want to do your best i mean you're not as long as it's not eh i'm just not feeling it today yeah. uh i'm just gonna freaking take the day off here feeling lazy stay at home mm-hmm. if that if that's the case then yeah, that's yeah, not, we're, that. yeah, we're not we're not setting you up to make excuses here. You want to have your minimal yeah. dose that you commit to. Like these are non-negotiable unless you're way on a trip or some serious life yeah. situations. But uh, barring any any extreme stuff out there, just stick get those those minimal dose workouts in, and then try to get the extras in for bonus if uh, if time permits. And if there happens to be a day where you're just not feeling it, you're a little lower on energy, you didn't get as much sleep the night before, you're a little bit stressed from work. You can still get in the gym and call mm-hmm. an audible. Don't have to follow that yep. set program in place that day either. You can reduce the the volume that you're doing that day. You can yep. go a little bit lighter with the weight. Work on your mind muscle connection. Um, yeah, just the little things where you're still getting in the gym, still working that habit, and um, it's amazing what good can come out of that. You don't have to beat yourself down even more and and hopefully those are the few and far between workouts where Mm -hmm. you're just not feeling it and you have to dial back that volume hopefully it's like the majority of the time you're sticking with the plan in place that's that all comes with setting a plan that suits your lifestyle to begin with following something that's reasonable uh rather than really setting the bar super high uh, Mm -hmm. when your life doesn't really permit it like i said you don't want to be you want it to be a stressful situation yeah like um you know, clients often will say to me stuff like, well, I was supposed to do, you know, X amount of weight for this many reps and I get to the gym and it's always, oh, somebody was on the squat rack the whole time and I couldn't, I had to do something else. And, and I'm now, I'm, I see that that's an opportunity that a, that sucks. You know, we've all been there, but yeah. it's also an opportunity to pursue other things like, okay, so maybe that day, if you can't squat and you have to do something else, maybe that day do like perfect form leg pressing or in single leg squats and or split squats or what have you but really really emphasize like because you're not focusing on load really focus on you know smooth tempos perfect execution feeling the mo- feeling exercise in the, in the target muscles i mean stuff that you should be doing anyway mm-hmm. but stuff it's also stuff that we tend to forget when you're like you know balls deep in a you know <laughs> in a very intense set where you're trying to hit a certain target rep range um like those kind of audibles that you where you make do are great. I mean, you know, I used to be that guy who complained about hotel gyms. Oh, you know, I'd only had dumbbells to 30 pounds. Oh, this sucks, you know. But you can still train. You can still achieve a training effect 
just for, on a different way. Mm-hmm. Just you have to you have to just chase a different carrot. You know, again, go for really really good form. Maybe cut your rest really short and you know see what your tolerance is to you know short rest intervals. Like just do it's stuff that you don't do all the time, but it's just like good little things that you can throw in so you can kind of keep in you know progressing, keep in that you know hitting your workouts somehow. Right, right, yeah. and try you can still try to stick to the structure of, of yeah. the plan. Like if it's some sort of hip hinge movement and you're in a gym and all you got is dumbbells, all right, a dumbbell Romanian deadlift will do awesome. the trick instead of a barbell. Or yeah. Uh, yeah, there's different little variations that you can do. You try try to work the same muscle as intended in initial program mm-hmm. design, but it may be lighter weight where you just have to slow it down, mm-hmm. um, do more reps, little things like that to, to accommodate yeah. the situation at hand. Absolutely, man. There's so much more than just the the little parts of the program. Like there's so much more that you can explore. Yeah, yeah, for yeah. sure. So structure is good, but and you want to follow the structure for the yeah. most plan to the best of your ability, a structure that suits your lifestyle best. But don't be afraid to call audibles at uh, at times. I know for myself, even like if it's a five day plan we're following, a lot of times we'll prefer to do like two days on, one day off, three days on, one day off. Mm-hmm. And that the days off are kind of strategic in the program design mm-hmm. where we usually need yeah. a day of rest after day two, but there's times where we can't make it in on the weekend. So we'll cram five days in a row and it works for our schedule. But on that third day, we have to go a little bit lighter with the weight because we're still mm-hmm. we're recovered, but not optimally recovered in order to hit that workout again. So we still follow the structure in place just a little bit lighter, a little bit more mind, slower, mind muscle connection type thing. And so subtle little changes that don't take place too often, but when you have to make those changes, celebrate. I mean, again, it's an opportunity to learn and, um, yeah, definitely don't be beating yourself up whenever you have to make subtle little changes or something. You might just be too tight today. And Mm -hmm. there's definitely been times where I'm scheduled to squat and my lower back is tight. My hips are tight. I'm just like, no matter what kind of mobility warm up I'm going to do, it's just not going to loosen me up. So I'm, <laughs> I'll either go really light with that movement, work on my form, or just do a different exercise altogether. Yep. That day. Yep. Yep. Good advice, man. Yeah. So pretty much again, just this really the topic really came up because of the group and the, the physique mastery movement there, and um, just seeing people really thinking that they had to stick with that rigid schedule, that that seven day a week. Uh, hitting everything within a seven day time period. But if, if your week extends eight days this week, that's that's fine. Just try to keep it on a pretty consistent schedule for the most part. And don't don't beat yourself up when it goes slightly off track. Allow yourself some sort of flexibility with your programming. That really is a, kind of working your intuition muscles there, becoming more intuitive with your training while following a, a structured plan in place. Works for me. <laughs> <laughs> outstanding yeah i mean like i said we've made a lot, lots of mistakes leading up to this point taking us a while to to really build up this intuition but kind of sharing i mean we've learned from others who have gone before us kind of sharing some of this advice with us and passing along to to those uh along with us right now it just experience is a great teacher learning from others experiences can be very very helpful learning from our mistakes so you don't have to make the same mistakes as well <laughs> is uh, very helpful yeah i could write a book on that man no kidding no <laughs> kidding let's start that today <laughs> all right be flexible with your all training right. let us know if you have any questions let us know if there's topics you want to cover hope you enjoyed today's episode again physiquemasterymovement.com would love to see you in our group coaching experience catch you next time